All right, so I have made some modifications to the Raspberry Pi 3. I had to cut off the corner here just a little bit in order for it to fit kind of nice and snug in there. Um, I had to also grind down just a little bit around here um, so it would accept the nice little fitment that I made here. So when it's all said and done, it'll be sitting in there quite nicely. Um, so after making all those adjustments, um, I wanted to find the placement for the um, Adafruit 1000C for power, and it looks like it will fit nice and snug right here. Uh, this piece does get a little bit uh, warm during normal operations. That's fine because um, it's sitting on the PLA plastic and uh, not sitting underneath any kind of metal or anything like that so I don't have to kind of put uh, electrical tape or anything like that on the bottom. So I'll have this guy sitting right about here uh, when it's all set and done and uh, we will continue on with the build. So we just need to start wiring things up. So for now, um, the top piece is done, um, but we need to start moving on with the GPIO board. So we're going to be attaching the twisted pair of wires that go right here. Um, we'll twist them up and leave it pretty long just to make sure uh, we have enough room for the final fitment uh, once it goes in. So final fitment will go on to these pins here. So once we have that and then we'll also do the um, the ground and the 5 volt pin wires that will eventually go to the Adafruit. So we'll uh, put those wires in, make them long enough so that way we have enough play to place it anywhere that we need to. Um, and then we'll also have these pins specific for the Raspberry Pi, the display. Um, I think that's, that's just about it. We don't need anything else to be powered since Helder made everything nice and, and uh, cool with the um, the Arduino, the USB, and the sound all on one piece. So makes life really easy, makes the build really, really clean. Um, and the items that will be sitting in this back piece, there won't be a whole lot. Uh, we'll just have this guy sitting inside along with the trigger buttons and the battery pack. Um, I don't think anything else is going to fit inside. So makes life really, really easy. Um, and I want to I wanna say thank you, Helder, for making this glorious board. Um, so I'm going to cut away here. I'm going to um, take some of these wires and uh, make the pinouts that I want. So uh, this here is just um, like $7 kits that you can get uh, from Amazon. It, it is basically just for testing, but the, um, the wire thickness and everything is exactly what I want. Uh, it's stupid cheap, comes in a wide variety of colors, so I can easily identify what I'm uh, what I'm wiring, what it's going to, um, without any question, because I've seen some builds use only black and, and red wires, some people use white and black, um, this gives you a wide range of options. So um, I will be cutting away and basically tinning the, the wires with everything cut off um, and go from there.